I'm going to move into um, an area of interest of mine for a number of years, which has been um, how Eastern, Eastern philosophy uh, views our consciousness, our behaviour, our emotions um, and our health. Uh, and this has really helped me a lot in my work. Um, uh, what one of the areas I've looked at is, is this whole area of, of the growth of consciousness uh, according to Ayurvedic medicine um, uh, and an understanding that it's not just the brain involved uh, in this processing but in fact the whole body. So when we say uh, uh, about having our hearts in the job or uh, talking about a heartfelt response, uh, they really mean that uh, the heart itself is involved. Um, so in Ayurvedic medicine, and, and uh, there's the system of what they call chakras, which uh, is another word for wheels. Um, and they would see that, in fact, the whole body uh, together uh, uh, is responsible for uh, and, and involved in, in the growth of our consciousness. Um, and here are the different chakras, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And roughly speaking, as we develop and mature in this life, um, we uh, go through certain challenges uh, in each of these uh, areas. Um, in fact, sometimes they coincide with our growth from, from birth to about 30 and we start again uh, with the birth of our children or, or our godchildren or whoever, the generation that's coming up telling us uh, where we've gone wrong. Okay. Um, the chakra that's particularly important for uh, the uh, growth of our personal um, character, uh, our personal power, uh, is the third chakra. Uh, and it sits here in the body. And I find this very interesting because maybe people who are, feel they're controlled in their lives, uh, maybe in a job where they're getting pressure from the boss, pressure from customers below, can often feel it in their guts and may well develop um, acidity or reflux or acid in the stomach. That's just one example of a third chakra problem. In my first talk, um, I talked about this whole spectrum of narcissism that extended from one end, those who, who were victims of the world, to those who are very controlling. And here's the whole breadth of narcissism here. I won't spend, but at all I'll save time, just putting narc in. Uh, and in fact, there's a healthy balance here. So some would say that this is uh, where we achieve a, a humble assertiveness. That in fact, we're confident in our own selves, uh, but we're not overpowering. So right at this end, uh, the psychopaths would, would sit with. Whereas at this end, there'd be, there'd be empathy and sympathy. Uh, but possibly people who are easily controlled. On this end are the controllers, uh, and they uh, are the predators who prey on people this end. And in fact, that uh, through life experiences and sometimes illness, um, this chakra develops to meet in the middle, to this, uh, if you say, a zero point here, where we have just the right balance of being humble, but the, just the right balance also of being assertive. And we begin to have self-respect and self-esteem, and that grows within us and can be picked up by other people and is empowering for other people. In other words, when this is in balance, then it's able to, we're able to move into um, the next chakra, opening of the heart, if you like, here. And so we can say that this line may well sit in this model of health, somewhere across here. And when that's in balance, the heart opens. And as, as we see in this line, the, the could be seen to be to be winners, uh, and in the materialistic world anyway, the winners would be at this end. They're not obviously in the moral, ethical world, and there'd be losers here. 
but in the heart everybody is joined um, and therefore we're all in it together us, other people, animals and nature so here we go into win-win and when our hearts in balance and that often means um, being compassionate to ourselves we're more likely to put all our experiences together and find our voice and then gain insight and an understanding of all our connectivity. So we could say this is where this whole spectrum of narcissism including uh, psychopathy uh, exists and that in some ways these dark souls may be showing us the way in fact leading people into becoming more assertive but of course doing damage in the meantime. So I personally found this model very very interesting um, and uh, very helpful in my practice and also empowering for people who are coming to see me. Here they are, here are the uh, chakras um, uh, with the different energies meeting in the middle and allowing to go higher and higher. As you can see, that is also the emblem of the uh, medical profession. Here we go. We can say there's enlightenment at the top. With the caduceus here and the rod of Hermes going through. So I hope that's helpful and that gives you some insight into um, other models of health and where this condition of psychopathy and where personal power has got out of hand um, where that resides. Um, in, in my book, The Human Hologram, I talk about how this is actually a reflection of what's happening in society as well. So, um, interesting enough, we're seeing um, corruption being exposed in, in many high places, uh, places such as governments and, and uh, uh, big corporations and banks and whatever. Uh, and so people are beginning to understand this and probably to get to the next step as we evolve as a species you know, uh, we, we need to appreciate this side as well and have ways that we can uh, counteract this, recognize it and counteract it while we ourselves focus on becoming more balanced and opening our hearts uh, not just for ourselves but for this planet. So thank you very much. Um, Next time I may explain this in, in some Chinese medical terms very briefly and hopefully um, simply. Uh, so all the best and please uh, subscribe and try and see these in series and add your comments down there so we can keep this discussion open. Um, thank you very much. Bye.